Beat it, Nanny. <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Uh, yeah, g'day and welcome to this instructional video on how to teach a kid New Zealand slang. Uh, now, New Zealand slang is, is quite hard to understand. Not, not as hard as Aussie slang, but still pretty hard. So the best way to teach a kid is by using the repeat after me method. So I've chosen 10, I've written down 10 uh, Kiwi slang or New Zealand slang words here. And she's gone. She's back. You ready? Yep. High five. Okay, first word I've got here is sweet as. Uh, sweet as. That just means everything's okay, all good, sounds like a great Hello. plan. Can you say sweet as, man? Sweet as, man. That's the one. Right, word number two, hard case. Hard case means uh, funny. That person is funny. That person is a hard case. Can you say, Dad's a hard case? Dad's hard case. That's the one. High five. Word number three, chur, which just means thanks or, or cheers, man. All good. Can you say, chur, bro? Can you say, chur? I, I gotta hear the chur. Can you say, chur? We'll take it. Right, word number four, gutted. Uh, gutted means you. Um, gutted means stink. Gutted means oh, I'm absolutely gutted. It's really hard to gutted is should be a real good word. That's a gutted means I'm very disappointed. Um, you know, oh mate, your car got broken into last night. Oh, gutted. Can you say oh, gutted? Oh, garlic. Not oh, garlic. <laughs> oh, gutted. Oh, daddy! <laughs> uh, next word. Hey, listening. We're in school, all right? No clapping, okay? Next word is yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, nah is basically a Kiwi's way of politely saying no because we don't want to sound mean. So, hey, hey, man, can I borrow your car this weekend? Ah, oh, yeah, nah. So, Nala, can you say yeah, nah? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Right, next word, um, gummies, which is an abbreviation for the word gumboot. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a sh it's a shoe. It's a boot. Can you say, where's my gummies? Where's my gummies? Right, word number, whatever we're up to, hungus. Hungus would be if me and Nala here were having fish and chips, and she like just kept eating really fast and eating everything and only left me with a little bit. I'd say, oh man, you're a hungus. Can you say, hungus? Hmm. What? And then... There it is. I don't know what you did at the start there. It's like I put you on mute. Oh, bugger. Bugger means when basically when anything goes wrong, you get a flat tire, bugger. Your, your kid draws on the walls, oh, bugger. Right, you ready? You've just woken up. You've, you've pooped your bed. You would say, oh, bugger. Can you say, oh, bugger? Oh, bugger. <laughs> That's great. She'll be right. Uh, this is used throughout the country, which basically just means... No matter what, everything will be okay. You, you're locked out of your house, ah, she'll be right. Um, your kid's biting the table, damaging her teeth, ah, she'll be right. It's nothing to do with, like, woman. It's just, in a, it's just a, a slang thing. Hey, can you say, she'll be right? She'll be right. Um, moving on to the very last one, not even. Hey, hey you, you stole my shoes, didn't you? And they'd say, oh, not even. I don't know how to put it into a good definition, but not even means nah. <laughs> Wasn't me. Not even. Nala, did you draw on the walls? And then yes. you, no, no, you would you wouldn't say yes, you'd say not even. <laughs> Can you say not even? Not even. That's the one. High five. Uh, and that was how to teach a kid New Zealand slang and uh, no kids were harmed in the making of this video. Can you say bye? Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, oh, bugger.